we dive into more advanced components, let's start by looking at our heading component that's reused throughout the site. The heading component is simple, but it helps us to be consistent with our heading structure, our fonts, our spacing, and so on. So here is where our heading component is. And luckily, this is one of the components that was included with the theme generator. This is where we organize all the files that are related to the heading component, like the markup, the styles, and the sample data. It's common for each component to have a JSON file or maybe a YAML file for the sample data, a CSS file or a SAS file for the styles, and a Twig template for the markup. And if it's needed, uh, sometimes you'll see some JavaScript files in here that are specific for the component. While I'm in the theme directory, I'm going to run nvmuse so that I can use the correct version of Node. I'm going to run npm run watch so I can bring this up in Pattern Lab. And see, we have our heading component here. Right now, we are just making this in Pattern Lab. Drupal does not know about this yet. First, I'm going to show you our JSON file. Here we have a list of keys and values for our components. By putting our values here first, we can plan what our content will be for the component. And since this is a heading component, this is where we can determine if it is an H1, an H2, and so on. Does it have a modifier? Is there a URL? And the title will be the text that is shown in the heading. All right, now let's break down this markup. At the very top, we have a line to attach a heading library. So this is not for Pattern Lab, but for Drupal. And what this does is says, anytime this component is called, attach these files that are in this library. We can see that in the theme library file, this is where we attach the CSS and JavaScript. This is a great way to save on resources so that the CSS and the JS files are loaded only when the component is called rather than everywhere all the time. The heading level key will come in handy as we start reusing the heading component. This will allow us to change the headings from say an H1 to an H2 if we need to. Let's look at this in Pattern Lab. I'm going to change this in my JSON file, reload it, and then inspect it. See how it can be dynamically changed from an H1 or an H2 or 3 or so on? This is really great for reusing this component for more than just a static H1 or an H2. Next is the modifier key. Modifiers are a great way to make variations of the same component. Have you ever been on a site and seen headings that maybe the primary heading on a page looks different than the section heading? Well, if the developer used component-based development, they are both still a heading. So the modifiers might be heading dash dash primary and heading dash dash section, um, you can call it whatever you want. So all the markup would be the same or very similar and maybe just a few small CSS changes. By doing this, we are only introducing a few lines of CSS rather than duplicating the markup or making two very similar components. I'm gonna show you a quick example of how this works. So let's create a heading primary class in our style sheet uh, to differentiate it from the normal heading. Cool, so see how we can change the color? We could do anything. We could change the color, the size. Um, we can make simple changes without remaking the entire component. Here is where we are giving some variables for Drupal to pass its attributes. Right now, we're not going to worry about this in Pattern Lab. Um, I do have a video that goes into Drupal attributes a little more, but since we're not integrating yet, I'm going to go ahead and skip over this. Um, so next, we have um, URL. So sometimes headings can be links. What we are doing here is saying, if there is a URL, wrap the title in an anchor tag. Otherwise, the title will be printed as plain text. So let's test this out. I'm going to add a, a URL to the JSON file and then bring it up in Pattern Lab just to see that now it's a link. The heading component is a good example to start with because all components from simple to complicated will follow a similar structure. 
Thank you.